Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what you are looking at, you are looking at final proof of Nibiru. Um, I spotted this um, image on the NASA website about half hour ago. I was in there doing some research into one of my theories that I'm about to publish, and I spotted this particular image. And basically, I believe this to be the planet Nibiru on its way to our solar system. Um, and if this was a black hole like NASA says it is on, the, on their website, uh, the stars around it themselves would be spinning and you would see them. Because from the Earth-based telescope um, from uh, Antarctica, these stars around it are spinning. Because when, when the photo was taken from Antarctica, the stars were spinning around it. Hence, because we are spinning around... I noticed that the stars weren't spinning and that got me and it sort of got me to thinking what's actually going on here so I just looked at it and kept on looking at it and then I realised hang on I was, there's something about it well, what the difference was the st when the, the stars weren't spinning around this image yet on the one I saw a couple of weeks ago and unfortunately I've cleared my history so I've now got to go back through and try and find this black hole video that where I saw it taken from the Antarctic um, telescope. If anybody out there actually has seen the same image of this where the stars are spinning around it, uh, if they could get back to me and actually put me on to where the image is so, that when, so I can repost this video with the other image so that people can see the difference from the Earth-based telescope and the space-based telescope. Because in space, because the space-based telescope is a static thing and stays up in uh, orbit, the, the stars aren't spinning around it. So basically, there is a major difference because this image was taken by the Hubble or that other one they've just put up there, aimed at, at it. They've taken a photo, so they've gone, OK, because Earth, like they've been building all these dumbs and everything, like I think this is why they've been building all these dumbs, because Nibiru is real, people. Here it is. We're actually seeing it. It's said that Nibiru's got a damaged atmosphere. Look at the atmosphere around it. We can't see the atmosphere directly in front of us because the sun, there's not enough reflection in that direction. But if you notice in different parts of it, you can see sections of the atmosphere forward. Um, this could be part of the damage. It could have something to do with its magnetic field. I don't know, but I can tell you now, that's not a black hole because I've seen two images of it now and I know it's not a black hole. Because this, there was a, where the E is on the hole, um, that whole section on the other image from um, Antarctica, they were actually spinning around it. And all the stars were spinning. And um, on the other image, yeah, it did look like a black hole, but when it takes it from space, no way, it's not a black hole. I'm going to chop a section of this video up, see if I can actually enlarge it and a really advanced one because it's an old cheapo um, but the thing is with this to me that's a planet that's that is not a black hole that's a dark planet and if it's not Nibiru that's a dark planet out in space um, with just enough light shining on a couple of areas and to me when I look at the right hand side just near the top I can see what looks to be maybe part of a continent that's just getting enough light on one side and it's on the other side it's just getting another but you can't really tell it's a we do need a bigger image and a zoomed in image I did on the NASA side I did look at it it did look like the um, the reflection of it uh, they that the on the reflections were elongated but you've only got to refer back to a cue ball and you look at a cue ball when you look into a cue ball if there's a single light up top you don't see a round dot on it you see an elongated dot on it so any reflection on a cue ball is always elongated and because the lights around it may be stronger than what we're actually seeing from our sun um, on it but because there's ample light behind it hence we can actually see the atmosphere around it and there look to be different sections around this planet that almost look to be 
um, in different an X on the planet. Like a fair enough. No, I'm not saying it's an X, but um, there's black sections in the atmosphere that put a, a couple of external sections on it. Um, and to me, okay. things and why would an atmosphere be in a black hole there would not be an atmosphere in a black hole and it says a black hole absorbs all light yet we're seeing reflections from this that's not a black hole folks that's a bloody planet sorry but that is a planet and um, yeah we need to look into this a little bit further folks because I truly believe that we are looking at the planet Nibiru and when I do get the other image I'm going to repost another video about Nibiru with this image and the other image both within it so everybody can see it but you've got to forgive me I have to refine that other image on YouTube but if anybody knows let me